Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Headlight Series. And as you guys can see, man, we got your boy Franklin. He looking like he don't even want to do nothing today. But today, today's episode, man, we're actually going to be doing a couple of things here. Y'all already know we're at the the White Villa J, the White Villa House. You know what I'm saying, man? But today, we actually got to go ahead and pick up a GTR from uh, you know somebody they didn't want to bring it back to Simeon Shop. And then we got to go and check out this billionaire's um, Bitcoin five store uh, five. Oh damn! What the fuck? Oh shit! Okay, all right, my boy just ragged all down the steps. But we got to check out this Bitcoin uh, billionaire house, so uh, we're going to see how this looks, man. I know this isn't a house that we're going to be able to afford anytime soon. Well, we might be able to. You never know, man. Your boy Franklin got some stacks. You know what I'm saying? We at 5 milli range. And uh, I think you guys did say you wanted to pay like 1.5 milli for this house right here. So we'll go ahead and subtract 1.5 milli real quick. And, uh, yeah, so we got to go ahead and make our way to go pick up the Range Rover. And uh, once we pick up the Range Rover, hold up, one, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. We gotta go and pick up the Range Rover. And once we pick up the Range Rover, we're gonna go and get the GTR because we gotta use the trailer and stuff. I don't want to drive. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to drive a car that's not ours. And then we did get this car in the last episode. I tried to put some rims on it, but for some reason, they can't change the rims on there. So we're not even gonna drive that. I want to drive that. Um, I want to drive the Aventador, man. If you guys missed that episode, we went ahead and put some 4Gs on this guy, and we changed the paint job. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? We got some 4Gs on the uh, Aventador now. We're going to go ahead and drive this to our untouched. Go pick up the Range Rover. All right, man. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this, uh, um, about the Aventador on these 4Gs now. Going ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up this GTR, though. You know what I'm saying? So we can bring this back to Simeon's shop. And then we're gonna go ahead and check out this this billionaire's house, man. Cause uh, it's it's a five story house. I think this is like one of the biggest houses that we're gonna check out throughout this entire episode. So uh, let's, we're gonna see how this is gonna go, man. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. So let's go to make our way down there. We got 2.4 miles. Man, we kind of live far from our aunt. You know what I'm saying, man? Kind of live far from my aunt, but it's all good. It's all good. We go speed past all these dudes, man. Well, all that dude, not these dudes, that dude. But definitely let me know what you guys think about the 4Gs on this uh, Aventador. Because uh, I definitely want to throw some more 4Gs on some other cars. Or really, I want to throw some more rims on some other cars. So let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. And for some reason, some of my trees are glitching. I, you know, I ain't really worried about it, man. I ain't worried about it. It's too bad. Kind of might want to restart my mods folder all over again. Again, you know what I'm saying? So I uh, might end up doing that. Maybe, possibly. There's a, there's a possibility, man. There's a possibility. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on down there, man. 1.7 miles. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start speed. You know what I'm saying? See what we can do with this event store. We haven't, we really don't drive this guy quite often. That's why I want to go ahead and drive it again. Especially after we put the rims on here. Definitely want to go ahead and drive it again. Holy shit, come on now. We about to be driving all types of whips. You know what I'm saying? All of our cars that we've ever bought throughout the series, we're about to be buying them. Or, I mean, not buying them, but we're about to be driving them. So we can get all this done. All right, so I don't even know if this billionaire's Bitcoin house is even for sale. But yeah, like this uh, this billionaire, he, he I don't even know how he did it, but he became a billionaire off, off Bitcoin, man. I don't know how he did it. But then again, you know, Bitcoin was popping for a little bit last year. If you guys don't know, man, Bitcoin is like a, a cryptocurrency that kind of took off over the years and at its peak was worth like 19000 per coin. Which is ridiculous. Like it, I think it like it grew from 1,000 to 19,000 in a year. So that, that's that's fucking ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's any other cryptocurrency that's doing that. Uh, and I'm not really sure how uh, if it's even gonna go back up. Cause at the at the current moment of recording this video, man, uh, Bitcoin went back down to like 8,500 dollars. So um, it then dropped down to a little bit a little bit more than half. Like it lost more than about it lost more than 50 percent of its. Uh, of its actual uh, value so I don't know if it's even gonna go back well chances are it will go back up a lot of people have predictions for it to go all the way up to like two hundred thousand dollars within the next like three years so it's like um, well god damn that's a check you know what I'm saying that's a, that's a set you know what I'm saying but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and make our way on over here we done made it oh look at that you see you see we got the apartment buildings over here glitching I think they're glitching because the trailer over there so let's, let's, let me just let me just so we got time for that. All right, so yep. See, there's a trailer right there. I think that might be what was causing the glitching. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna use the Range Rover. I'm gonna park the Aventador right here because we're gonna come back and get the Aventador. We're driving the Aventador to go look at this uh, this billionaire's house. 
I'm not driving any other car to go look at this billionaire's house. So we gotta move the X6 and get into the Range Rover. Yeah, we kind of got down here kind of quick. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I do not want to hit my Aventador. All right, I gotta make sure I can get out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we we taking up the whole sidewalk. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I hope hopefully you guys do like this this hoodie right here, man. I did say that I was in the process of getting more uh, more things installed for Franklin. So uh, you know, what I'm saying we, we got some hoodies in. There's still a bunch more hoodies that I haven't used, a bunch more clothes that I haven't used just yet, man. But we will get around to using them. I kind of want to move that uh, X6 back in its spot or back in the driveway so it's not blocking the entire the entire sidewalk. There we go. So let me go ahead and yeah, let me do that real quick. Really don't want it blocking the entire sidewalk like that. Okay, I didn't want to push it either. Actually, you know what? Let's push it. Okay, now nah, that's not gonna work because for some reason the suspension is all types of screwed up. You know what I'm saying? We actually could have pushed it, but the suspension is like it. I don't know. It just drops really low, so we'll pass on that, man. All right, let's go ahead and let's do what we got to do. Got the bike right there. I kind of should see if the bike will fit on the back of that trailer. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use menu to attach it. We'll do it like that so that we can still put the GTR on the trailer too. We'll go ahead and bring this guy. Actually, you know what? We're not even, yeah, we're not even going. Yeah, we're not even going. What am I doing? We're not even going back to the mansion this episode. At least not with the uh wait, why don't I put the ramps down? <laughs> we're not we're not going back to the mansion. At least not uh not with the bike. You know what I'm saying? We're we're going back with the Aventador. Because we're coming back here to pick the Aventador back up. We just gotta use the, the Range Rover and the trailer. Alright, so we gotta come all the way up here to pick up the GTR. Wait, can I hold up, can I set a let me see, can I set a waypoint for like right here? Because this is what we were told where it was. We just gotta go ahead and go repo it, you know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and do that, man. I'm gonna leave this trailer over at uh, Simeon shop. We're probably not even gonna unhook the, you know, never mind. Oh, I did not want to run that over. Did I kill it? I think I did, I ran it over. Damn, I was trying not to run it over and I ran it over anyway. Jesus, man, Jesus. All right, man, but hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode nonetheless, man. This is uh, this is like a video for tomorrow. I'm I'm just kind of kind of sort of a little bit ahead on uh, videos and stuff right now. I got a decent amount of videos actually recorded, and uh, yeah, you guys aren't gonna miss any content. Slightly less missed days, or should I say, uh, a lot a lot of days that won't be missed. So here we go, man. One point. No, don't you do it. Oh, did I lose my trailer? I think I lost my trailer. Oh, oh, we good. Oh, we good. Thought I lost the trailer, but we good. All right, I gotta chill out when I do that. So, you know what I'm saying, man. This Range Rover just got some weird, uh, some some difficult kind of handling to it. So it's like you gotta be real smooth when driving this Range Rover. Otherwise, you would just be slinging the trailer back there all around. I didn't even think that dude was gonna go. seven miles hopefully we don't lose the trailer back there you know what i'm saying that's one thing that i don't like about driving the first person when we have uh, a trailer attached to the back that trailer what the hell is they doing why they done switch lanes like three times fuck out of here look at that man so cool camaro i'm actually surprised that's the first one you see what i'm oh my jesus that's the first uh so cool camaro that i don't see that actually looks like that man, uh, CJ so cool as Camaro. There we go, we got a quarter mile left. we reach our destination down here. But we're gonna see what's up, man, we're gonna see what's up. Right, I think this is the entrance right here. Yes, yeah, entrance. Do I, I don't even, oh, there's the GTR way back there. And here's the entrance on this left side. That's actually kind of surprising that the entrance is on the left. And the exit is on the right side. It's like, um, we're, we're not across the pond, but okay. All right, um, 
So from what I can see, we can't even really go over that way. We're gonna pull right here, and I'll just I'll just go and grab the GTR. You know what I'm saying? So we'll let the we'll let the ramps down, and we'll go ahead and just grab the GTR. Yeah, Franklin, Franklin about to be buying one of these GTRs real soon too. Oh, look, it's another so cool. Kind of looks like it. Kind of, it's a little slightly off. That looks like a matte paint instead of a gloss. All right, so we got the GTR. Let's get this guy over here. We're actually gonna be getting one of these real soon. This may be the one that we're gonna get, who knows? I'm gonna start driving the Liberty Walk GTR that we already do own. You guys know that uh, we have that Liberty Walk GTR that we have in the garage, or that's in a Playboy garage that we don't drive. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, get around to driving more of those cars. It's just Franklin got so many damn cars, man. It's impossible to drive all these damn cars. I gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna drive all these cars, but you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna be a little while. Definitely gonna be a little while. Let me go to the left. There we go. Take this right, right here. We're gonna keep. Oh, you see what I'm saying, man? That trailer loves to kick itself out like that. I have no idea why, but it loves to do that. But man, yeah, after after we drop this off, we're gonna go ahead and go look at this this mansion, man. This mansion. I, I actually already looked at it a little bit just to make sure that it was gonna work fine. You know, no glitches, no nothing. And man, this mansion is huge. Like, bro, I think this is the biggest uh, mansion mod. Well, no, 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 no. I'll say this is the tallest mansion mod uh, that is currently out on GTA 5 mods, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It, like, this thing is five stories high. It might not be, like, insanely spacious, but the shit's five stories, you know what I'm saying? Five motherfucking stories. I don't think there's, we haven't used any other house mod. Oh, damn, oh, damn. We haven't used any other house mod uh, that uh, had someone's someone's house be more than two stories. All these houses have just, you know, they've been only about two stories. It's the first three-story. Uh, it's like a three-story condo. It's really what it is. It's not even like a house. It's, it's really like a condo. Or... You know, yeah, yeah, I want to say, yeah, I want to say condo, maybe studio apartment type of thing, but, you know, studio apartments aren't, they don't have multiple floors, if I'm not mistaken, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's like, somewhat like a condo, but, you know, condos and stuff, they don't have multiple floors, if I'm not mistaken, so, I don't even know what to call it, you can't even really call it an apartment, because it takes up the entire building, I don't know. I may look it up and then add like a little, uh, I don't know, man. Just, just don't, don't quote me on this, man. Just don't, don't quote me on this. Just know this is probably one of the best houses that we're going to be looking at. Or the best places to uh, live that we're going to be looking at. And I know a lot of you guys are going to probably want Franklin to move into this spot. And I, I kind of want to too, man. But this is a billion, this is a billion dollar house. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we done made it over here to Simeon's. I'm going to pull on down here. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and unload the GTR. I'm going to put that guy just in the parking spot back here. And then we're taking this guy back to the mansion. We're going to hop into the Aventador, and we're going straight to this. We're going straight to this uh, house. No glitch in that. No. Oh, it was almost glitch proof, man. Let me, let me see if I get in on the other side. That's something I never do. Let's see if I if I get it on the other side. Will it still glitch? Hell yeah, it's still glitch. Jesus, I don't even get how that. I don't even get why that even glitches. Like the car wasn't even attached to the trailer anymore. It's just it was still on top of the trailer. That's all. all right. No, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Can't be locking the doors. Right, there we go. You know, make sure it's unlocked so somebody can get into it and all that. All right, let's go drop the Range Rover back off at our aunts. And we're gonna go ahead and go pick up this uh, this next whip, man. I'm actually trying to figure out and come up with some some gang mod episode ideas. You know what I'm saying? So that's really why I'm doing a bunch of pre-recording now, so I can have just a tad bit more time to see what I can come up with. You know what I'm saying? And get stuff set up because. Like I did say already, most of those gang mods, they don't really work no more. So, I got to figure out some things, you know what I'm saying? And it's not really that hard to figure out some things. It's just, I just got to make sure these mods 
still work. Some of them, some of them work, some of them don't. So I, I just got to make sure that some of them, you know, at least the ones that I want to use still work. All right, so I'm at the park over here on the right side of the road. It's the main reason why you guys see barely any uh, gang mods happen. It's like the people who made the gang mods haven't been updating their shit. And then, you know, the, the, you know, the versions that are out now, they barely work. I don't know what made them stop updating the gang mod, man. There's a lot of people that actually love that gang mod. You know what I'm saying, man? So I'm surprised that they actually stopped stopped updating the gang mod, man. But all right, so let's go ahead and make our way on over here to this mansion. Let's go ahead and go look at this, man. It's actually about to rain, it looks like. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's about to rain. Let's go ahead and make our way on over here, man. We only got 1.2 miles until we reach the destination. Man, I ain't even gonna lie, the uh, Aventador SV is probably one of my favorite Aventadors. If not, it is my favorite Aventador. I don't really like the Aventadors like that, just because they seem so overhyped, but not really overhyped. Like, everybody knows about the Aventadors, everybody loves the Aventadors, but, you know, it's it's not like, it's not like a GTR. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not overhyped, but it's hyped. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Still a fire card, though. And considering that the thing costs four hundred thousand dollars too, man, that's uh, that's a ticket. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what uh, I don't, I don't really know actually. I wonder what uh successor they're gonna come out with for the event. Oh, if they haven't already came out with one, because I haven't really been paying attention to much uh car, uh, car news and stuff. So I'm not even one hundred percent sure if they came out with a successor. For the Aventador, because I know they got the Aventador S that just came out, so I don't think they have a successor for the Aventador just yet. And if they, you know, whenever they do decide to come out, well, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Because I, I like the Aventador. As soon as they drop the Aventador, I like the Aventador. As soon as they, you know, the Mercy of Lago, I love the Mercy of Lago. So it's like, man, you, you really can't go wrong with any of Lambo's really top-notch cars. But all right, so there is the huge apartment right there. You know what I'm saying? You see it right there. It's that uh, grayish building. That's the apartment. That's the that's the huge mansion building. I was about to say apartment building, but this ain't no damn apartment, man. All right, I'm going to show you guys what's up. I'm gonna back on in. So here's the like the main floor garage. We can actually park right there, or we can keep going back here, and there's like enough room to park two cars right here. So, you know what I'm saying? We can go ahead and stop right here, park two cars. I'm going to just leave my Aventador right here, though. Oh, no. Come on. I really hate. I got to stop blocking the Aventador right there, man. All right, there we go. We just got to run over there. It's no biggie, man. I really hate when that happens. I ain't even going to lie to you guys. I really don't even know. I kind of, I know what causes it. I, I was about to say, I don't know what causes it. I know what causes it. Make sure my car is still there. I had to make sure because this mod likes to glitch a lot. Right, so here is like, this This is basically like the front, one of the front doors, one of the doors that you can actually come in on. See, it's like a side door actually, not a front door, a side door. We got the lights in the elevator right there. So like I did say, man, this is like the garage area. Pretty nice. See, we got to go all the way up there, bro. All the way up there. But this is, you know, the nice little garage area. Got some tools and stuff over here. Huge computer. I said huge computer, man. What? Nice computer, man. Nice computer. Then we come upstairs. This is the second floor. Because you know the first floor down there, I kind of count that as the first floor. If you don't count that as the first floor, then this is a four-story uh, mansion area. But I, I kind of count that as a, a floor because, you know what I'm saying, you, that's part of the place. Yeah, we got a pool table right here, man. Nice little cooler. I didn't even see this TV when I did a little skim and I was just coming through to make sure everything was good. I didn't even see this TV right here. Look at this, man. Got a, okay. We got a slushy machine. Look at this, man. Soda machine. Got everything up in here. This is like a... Okay, never mind. It's a jukebox out there. That's what they call it. All right, man, I don't know what's going on, man. I keep yawning. I keep yawning. I got a lack of sleep last night. I should have went to sleep. But uh, here's look like the kitchen area. Uh, so that's like the second time I don't yawn, man. I'm trying not to at least 
keep the yawning noise out of the videos, you know what I'm saying, man? But, you know, just, just a little tad. Man, I'm sitting up here recording this video. My eyes are burning and everything, but I, you know, not really burning, burning, but, you know, they, they're slightly burning. I ain't gonna lie, they're slightly burning. But here's the kitchen right here. Looks like we got a, okay, all right, it's pouring on there. All right, we got another selection machine and, oh, damn. You see what I was saying? For some, that wasn't even here at first. And it just spawned in as soon as we looked over there, I believe. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a couple of other things in this house that are gonna do that. I guess that's common, I guess. We got a pot right there. All right, so let's keep on going upstairs. This is gonna be the third floor, I believe, or the fourth floor. Third slash fourth floor, we got a motorcycle sitting right here. I have no idea who even got this thing up here, but uh, they're a warrior. They, they, are, oh, they are a warrior, you know what I'm saying? We got a fireplace, I'm probably gonna have to put that out. All right, this does open up. So here's like the side piece to the building, man. We got a grill over here. Hey, what y'all doing over here in my spot, man? I don't know what they doing, no. We got another fireplace. We got a burg over here. All right, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even see this elevator door right here either. It pays to go over your, uh, to go over some of these things, man. You know what I'm saying? This is why you skim through it and you see some of them, you see most of the stuff, but then it's a lot better once you don't see everything. All right, so we got another TV room, basically another living room. Pretty nice, man, pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and go up the stairs some more. I think this is the last floor. Yeah, this is the last floor, AKA the fourth slash fifth floor. This is where my setup slash security system is at slash uh, my CAI agent stuff is at. Oh, well, not my stuff, the, the billionaire stuff. What am I talking about, man? This is where the billionaire stuff is at. Yeah, that man's like, oh, whoa. When did she get in here? What's good? What you doing up here? Shit. Yeah, man, that man got the ice. Okay. What is the bed over here? Pretty nice looking, man. Pretty nice looking. I actually like this spot, man. If y'all think Franklin should uh, own this, let me know in the comment section down below. We may uh, see if we can do something, man. Here's the bathroom slash laundry room over here. Here's the shower. See, I, don't, I really don't know how I feel about that. You know, that door right there on the shower. It's like, you can't see nothing. You're basically locked in the shower when you uh, have that thing closed. But I already told you, that's basically it for here. Just wanted to come through, man. He allowed us to uh, look through his his billionaire apartment or his billionaire condo slash house slash apartment slash whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and it was pretty, it was pretty nice, man. If y'all think Franklin should own this guy, let me know. There's a bunch of other spots that we're gonna be looking at, and uh, you know what I'm saying, man. There's a lot of new spots being built around the city that Franklin is getting the uh, the luxuries of being able to go look at. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. See, and this would be a good house to actually buy because I'd be able to park my cars here without a problem. Because it seems like the cars won't disappear if I park them here. Like they won't fall through the ground like they uh, like they do with the other stuff. So we may, we could potentially own this spot. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. We could potentially own this spot. All right, so we're gonna go to make our way back up to the mansion. Back up to the mansion we already own that we just paid 1.5 milli for. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a quick save right here. Just so we don't lose any progress, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go to make our way back to the house. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Hood Life series. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on out.